Hi and welcome. I'm Nicole Lee, Nicole Lee Chigung. Today's practice is connection with the earth energy, not just the macrocosm earth energy, but the microcosm earth energy and drawing it up and encouraging it up and out into manifestation, into the material, right? As we work with wood energy, this is the energy of upward momentum. It's the energy of new growth and new beginnings, right? So that's the theme for our practice for today. Take your feet from bamboo in the wind and step yourself out into basic standing. Open the palms of the hands, creating a sense of expansion through the palms of the hands. And then open your chi gates three times. Gathering yourself to yourself. Let's stimulate through the spleen channel and through the region of the hips and the leg gates. Simply tapping. Tapping around the area of the qua or the bikini line. Open palm, pulsing through the knees a little. Take a few cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Tap once more, then lift the arms out to the sides with the palms up, shoulder height, come into chi scatter. One arm comes across in front. We swing from side to side, turning from the waist primarily, the waist and torso, looking off towards that arm that's coming across in front. And as if you're throwing away maybe all of the stagnant and old energy of let's say winter in this case, the wood element relating to spring and the emergence of new energy. Take a few more cleansing breaths. And just gently slowing down releasing the structure, releasing the form and allowing your body to come back to neutral, come back to center. Let's work just a little bit more with some balance. We'll shift our weight to one leg and then the opposite leg will lift across that leg like it's covering it. Then we'll use the knee to open through the area and then we'll place our foot as best as we can back into our basic standing form and we'll move our weight to the other side and we'll be to alternate. Just go really slow and wobble. <laughs> Fix your gaze, that's always helpful. Don't talk because that's not helpful. Smiling helps for sure. And just really notice as you get into the flow here, your arms. Allow your arms to be loose and soft. Just hanging by your sides. Your arms are not going to help you balance.
two more to go. Again, as you place your feet down, come back to your form, your standing foundation. Take a full breath, breathe it out your mouth. One last form here as we work through conditioning and regulating our body, our mind and our breath. Draw your palms to face in, hands in front of the thighs. Use your elbows to lift your arms up. Draw them right up over your head, flip your palms over and then travel down. Look straight ahead. Up, look up and then on the way down looking straight ahead. Keep your head neutral on the downward aspect of this movement. No looking down, no tilting your chin down. As we come overhead, we deliberately look up. We tilt the head back. You can come down as little or as much as you wish, but no looking down. Palms in on the way up, palms outwardly on the way down. One more time down. One more time up, and this time, once you're above the head, big, big stretch. Push the feet down, expand through the torso, the rib region, and then just radiate the arms out to the sides and down. <sighs> From here, let's begin almost like a flying movement. Arms coming out to the sides, they're a little bit in front of the body. They're just being led and guided by the wrists up and down, up and down. Nice and slow. Taking a few breaths. And from here we're going to move into a form that's labelled Bird's Flight. As the arms lift up, the next repetition, we're going to sit down. We're going to bend the knees and lower the body. Notice how I'm keeping my chest up. I'm keeping my neck and throat region open. I'm keeping my chin neutral. I'm looking straight ahead. So we're flying and at the same time, and we're bending into the knees. And as I'm coming down, my weight is shifting towards my heels. Just one more time. From here, we're going to become the deer. We're going to draw our hands up so that the wrist region can again connect to the head. Lightly, no pressure or weight. Then we're going to turn our torso on a 45 degree angle as we shift our weight, we're going to lift and extend the leg, landing onto the front leg as we lift up our back heel. From here, we're going to turn our head and we're going to look behind. Then we're going to turn back to face forward, shift our weight to the back leg, putting the heel down, lift up the front leg, 
and return it to our basic standing. Then we go to the other side. Turn, lift, stand and land, lift the back heel, turn and look. Turn back, weight to the back leg, lift, back to where we began. Side to side we go. Soften the arms, soften the hands. Step back this last time. See if you can step into your basic standing. Then reach the arms up. Hook the wrists around so that the palms can touch. Soften a little the arms down into the shoulder joints and then a little swaying. Side to side, softly and slowly. Take a few breaths. Then back to neutral. Unhook the wrists and radiate the arms down to the sides. Take a full breath. The final form for this practice is called the immortal pushes the stone. Place the hands in front of the dantian, close but not touching. Top hand forward, bottom hand to the waist. From side to side we go. We're not going to turn our hips at all. We're going to flow the hands past one another, close enough to feel the chi coming from the Lao Gong, the fingers. A little bit of a softening and a sung practice in between each of the repetitions. And the hand that's coming out in front, the arm that's coming out in front, it's coming up directly in front of the face. Finding a little rhythm. If you'd like to learn this particular form, there's a Qigong tuition video available within the Qi Lover membership program. Chi Lover membership is just $9 per month. You can cancel at any time. And there's a collection of tuition videos designed to give you all of the intricacies and the details and even goes over some of the common mistakes for particular forms. One more for each side here. Immortal pushes the stone. Then from here, let's come back. You can allow the hands to come and cover the lower dantian now, below the navel, touching the physical body, extending the body between the sky and the earth. Draw the arms by the sides and close the chi gates three times.
step the feet to bamboo in the wind and cover the dung tien. To increase the potency of your Qigong practice, I suggest stillness now. Stillness and presence. So whether that means just standing here in the position that I'm demonstrating for five to ten minutes, or whether you choose to sit or lay down, taking stillness at the end of your Qigong practice as I said, will definitely increase the potency of the magic that is Qigong. Until next time, thank you. I'm Nicole Lee. Bye for now.